you sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. Just another typical day, skipping school, with Rachel Amber. There's my chair. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Everybody lies. I like that. Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. I is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean, weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people. Yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? 
joyrides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. V-card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad, because it's true. Prove it. Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Damn. I'm afraid the lie was New York. I'm a Cali girl born and raised. So, New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? I swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I used to love country music when I was a kid. Now it makes me want to throw up. Literally. That's... weird. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. I'm not sure why country music makes you throw up. I'm a complex girl, Rachel. And I think it's probably true. Also, I kinda like the Dixie Chicks. You and David both. No accounting for taste. Who's David? He's, ah, <laughs> the, the guy my mom's seeing, I guess. Oh. And you don't like him. <laughs> it's still so 
weird that she's dating someone. My dad and my mom, <laughs> they were totally in love. You can tell how fucked up she is now just by how she's settling for David. He's this total hard-ass ex-military jagoff type. Like, the opposite of my dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, David has no respect. He acts like I'm some kind of problem to solve. Sometimes I am a problem, though. That's a load of bullshit. What do you mean? You're not a problem, Chloe. You're a person. It sounds like the only problem is David. You need to hit him where it hurts. <laughs> the only thing that David loves has four wheels and a four-barrel carburetor. <laughs> oh, God. A muscle car? I'm probably going to steal it soon, so... Let me know if you need an accomplice. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true. Like you said, arr. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling why. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, <laughs> of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So... If my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. With car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Also, you told me about that dickwad David. Now he's on my shit list too. Hell yeah. Mustache brain won't know what hit him. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. I wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen?
purple bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Fuck it! 